Good morning, everyone. And this is my third visit to KU. Uh, I've been working primarily with uh, Hatham on a bunch of projects that we're working on together. So what I thought I will do today is just make an informal presentation, a project that we're working with, uh, uh, again, uh, jointly with, uh, with, with Hatham. And the name of the person working on it is uh, Hiba. I'm going to show you this wide angle aspect in just a minute, but let's just talk about conventional phase arrays. What they need is a phase shifter. Now, everyone knows the ferrite phase shifters are widely used for this purpose, but we cannot actually use them at these high frequencies. Is something now that complements this phase shift. What does that mean? It means that, suppose this is the input port and this is the output port, and we want certain phase shifts. Now, by inserting those strips, we get phase shift, but the maximum we got is, let's say, 70. Or Why you want to control the reflection phase? Because you're coming in with a feed, which generates a spherical wave plus a linear taper, depending upon the angle. Okay, so if you're coming in vertical, then it just generates a spherical wavefront. What you want to do is convert that spherical wavefront into a linear wavefront. For instance, if you're coming in here and this is a sphere, you want to flatten this out so the wavefront is plane because then the wave just goes back in that direction and as a collimated beam because of wave front, all the phases on the front, they're the same. I'll show you some pictures of the paper. Okay, so before I do that, let me start out with the, the picture. Uh, which is that of uh, this <clears throat> ingestible an antenna. But more important question that we need to ask is what to use for polarization. And intuitively, and this is what people have been using, they use a circular polarization. Why? Because, first of all, they argue that when they, this uh, antenna goes through the system, okay, you never know what the orientation will be and what the surrounding medium, which of course is changing as it is traveling through the system. So that being the case, you say, let's play it safe, let's use circular polarization, all right? So this is someone who, Right now, it's located in the lab in uh, Belgium. One of uh, Hatem's former students, but she got her PhD in Louvain. And she is working on, uh, I'm not showing you that here, very interesting problem of recognizing characters such as alphabets. And we started out with the English alphabets and hope to go and see what we can do with the Arabic alphabets. A few, I showed you, I told you there's about 12 projects at the moment currently active that we're working on. And clearly in view of the time, I thought it would be best to down select the number, make it reasonable. So that's what I had to do. And thanks very much for your attention.